Hi, my name is David McPhee, and I'm a clinician working here at Woods Homes. And today I'd like to talk to you about managing resources for youth and their families. This is one of our presentations offered as part of our 100-year speaker series here at Woods Homes. When difficulties arise, there are a lot of questions that families have about their child's mental health or schooling or problems within their own family. These questions may include, who do you reach out to? How do you get around barriers when things are frustrating? And how do you become the squeaky wheel that is often needed in order to move resources? This presentation will answer these questions and many more. What I will focus on are the types of services that are offered, how to access them, and the potential limits with these services around three areas. These areas include mental health, school, and family function. Before accessing these resources, parents need to be specifically clear about what their problem is. The way in which they can do this is by asking themselves questions like, what are some of the negative behaviors that my child engages in currently? Where is the functioning impaired? Is it at school? Is it with peers or friends? Or, or is it only within the family? And how long has this behavior been affecting this young person or this family? Before accessing resources, families should also note the different levels of resources. These levels include universal, which often offers an entry point for families that can be accessed through self-referral. Extended, which is more intensive than universal, than universal resources, but may still be accessed through self-referral. And specialized services. Often specialized services are those that will offer a specific service to families and are, are usually referred through another type of professional. Lastly, families should explore their existing family resiliencies, which includes their strengths as a family. It is also important that families see the professionals and resources involved as a consultant more than a know-all and a be-all. It is also important that families discover strategies and learn from what things they have tried previously as well as any previous resources that they have accessed in the past. And lastly, it's important that families identify what resources had worked in the past and how they helped the family. Thank you for watching, and for more information, please visit woodshomes.ca.